I'll kick it aside. Michael uh, Bose has been a friend of Gary and mine for six years, seven years. Um, we've done a lot together. We've been doing programs and projects together and rough times, good times, awesome times, bad times. And he still uh, holds some records. Yep. He still holds a record. Most sales have ever of any affiliate that sold any one of our particular products. So uh, he does hold that record. No question. So in light of all that, with the stuff that Michael has developed over the years, it's kind of like we're on the same we're we're on the same railroad track, right? It's just that you're over on this side of the track and we're over on this side of the track. But the destination, you know, is the same place. We want to get to the destination that helps everybody that's on this call get more clients, get more customers, get better rankings, right? So there's, there's many paths to getting there. There is not just one, you know, but when you utilize some of them, you get there maybe a little bit faster. When you use some of the other ones, you get there that maybe last longer or get there in a different way. But when you start to combine all of the things that you possibly can do, when you have people that have been around for a long time, like Michael, and have really dug, dug deep into the, the, the why, and then creates the how for the results, you know, that's kind of what we have here um, today. For those of you who don't know Mike or Michael, what do you prefer, Mike, Michael, MB? You know, as long as it's oh. not a number. If someone calls me a number, I feel like eh, eh. feels like I'm a slab in the uh, mortuary. You know. Okay. All right. Well, I I think MB is okay. Cause that's like uh, the master's degree. You know, you're an MB. You know what? You almost. I thought you were going for another term there, Patrick. So, uh, so it's like don't even get there about my, on a live call. Uh. You're up, That's all right. You know, look so, at red face here and start laughing. So, <laughs> you, but, you know, I, this this part's being recorded. I can't do that. Man. I know, I know. You see the red face is starting to go all red here. I'm starting to match the uh, I, the flag. It was right. a lava lamp and a, the nuclear lamp in the back. It was, you know, kind of making you glow a little bit there. <laughs> right. Uh, listen, I, I have a real propensity to say bad things. So, if anything bad happens on the call, I am blaming it on Charles Sakoa. I see Charles okay. Zicola right there. I'm blaming it on you, Charles. I don't know why. I'm just well, I'm gonna scapegoat you here. Since you know, when you look at his when you look at his reviews, he's a scapegoat for a lot of people. Poor <laughs> Charles. All right. <laughs> well, burn. Terry uh, Power's in the house, buddy. Terry Power. I think Terry uses uh the uh, he doesn't use awesome. the program, right? Terry uses the program. Who's that? Terry Power. Um, I don't think so. No? Okay. I think back in the day. Back in the day? We'll back put it this way. He's a testimony on your, your homepage, so. Sorry, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Misappropriating testimony. Oh, there you go. Oh, right. what a burger. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much Let's for having go. me today. Really appreciate it, and uh, I decided I would do kind of a different. <laughs> there goes another hater. I thought I'd do kind of a different, you know, call today. Normally, I would run by a script with a uh, slideshow. So this may be a train wreck. Go straight down the mount mount like a Santa Fe train derail. Let's hope that doesn't go that direction. But uh, we'll see how this one plays out today. So without going into a full slideshow, giving you the same stuff. I I kind of hate those slides. I hate those slideshows, you know, that marketers totally. come, let me tell you about my life, how wonderful I am, blah, 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 all the accomplishments I've done. Listen, I got to tell you, I failed kindergarten first off, just an FYI. So I had to retake kindergarten. So I'm not, I don't have too many apples for the teacher, you know, so I definitely wasn't a teacher's but was not a perfect student. Uh, barely made it through high school. And this is why you got to buy from me today because I'm a poor sot. No, totally not. Okay, guys. So let's get going on this. Let's talk about what we are going to be offering you today, which is my Kraken CTR tool. First off, let me ask you in the chat, 
uh, since we have the chat right here. Uh, choo choo, thank you, thank you, George. Um, how many? Who knows what CTR is? Let's let's ask that. What is CTR? Click through rate, exactly. Okay, good, good, good. CTR is click through rate manipulation, right? So. Uh, when I first created my CTR tool, my very first tool was launched Video Traffic Viper 2018. And uh, it was for videos, obviously, <laughs> Video Traffic Viper. And it was really great. I loved it. About three months later, I released another tool. It's called the Google Traffic Viper. And then three months after that, I released a third tool, which was GMB Viper. And uh, the GMB Viper was specifically just for Google My Business Pages. Uh, the Google Traffic Viper ran through websites, blogs, all of that good stuff, video embeds, et cetera. And, of course, Video Viper is just for videos, right? But you could do video embeds on the Google Traffic Viper. The three tools worked exceptionally well, and they still work. So I still have people using all the regular Vipers. But over time, I was wanting to really expand into it more a deeper CTR tool, something that would allow me to go above and beyond anything that was out on the market. And once I launched my first CTR tool, of course, everybody else got the same idea. So this is what happens whenever you create tools. You create a tool, other people launch, they jump right on the idea and they're like, hey, this is a great tool. Let me see what I can create outside of it. And then you got another CTR tool. And then you got another CTR tool. And then someone else launches a third CTR tool. So there's been a lot of reiterations, people releasing very similar tools over the years that have varied you know, things that they do, but none of them really did what I wanted to do when I created my tools. So what I did is I looked back at everything that I had and I decided, well, let me build something that allows you to customize all of your CTR all of your ranking, everything that you want to do within ranking, say, a website or a GBP now, or a video, or a video embed, or a podcast. I want to create something that engineers allows you to build up like you're building a, a Lego castle, right? And you're building this Lego castle, and you're, you're designing it from the ground up, and you're making it very, very deep. Right, So you could send in traffic from, say, a PBN uh, Tier 7 IFTTT network. You could send traffic in from a PBN. You could send traffic in from a GPP. You could send traffic in to a website. You could send traffic from a website to your Google My Business page, from the Google My Business page to Instagram. From the Instagram, you could send it to a Twitter. From a Twitter, you could send it to a WordPress blog. From the WordPress blog, you could send it to a you know, like another, just a blogger account or a Tumblr account or anything like that, and then drive the traffic back through social media or to another website. And what this does is you're creating longer waves of traffic, not just the typical CTR traffic of, you know, it searches in Google, it finds a website, or it searches in Google, it finds a GMB. And this allows you to really mechanize all of your SEO and all of your traffic without sounding too deep here. We're going to get into the tool in just a minute. But it really allows you to, to build recipes, as I called them, that allowed you to set up individual traffic lines in anything that you do. You can build this a thousand different ways. Or if you want to save time, you can build something called a recipe. And you can set this up per client or put a recipe in, clone it, change it up, and then send in your traffic. And what this has allowed my people to use within the Kraken, allowed my Kraken users and my old Platinum Mastermind users, is it has allowed them to set up varied routes of traffic that have ranked their GPPs, their Yelp pages. I just heard from one of my guys, uh, EJ. Uh, EJ, I love EJ. He's always in my Mastermind. And uh, he said he just ranked one of his clients' Yelp pages. The number one, blew off all the other Yelp pages, just threw it into the Kraken, sent in the traffic directly to it, doing the search, direct search to the Yelp, and blew his client's Yelp page right at the top. 
and blew all the other competitors right off the page, which was awesome. So he's gotten great success with that. Other members are doing rankings with their GPPs right up to the top, uh, setting up their websites, getting their websites ranked. And I will show you some of these things, some of these different testimonials and case studies that they set up and uh, all, of that, all of that different stuff. But what we also added into the Kraken recently is GeoGrids. So I added GeoGrids into the tool. Uh, so now you have GeoGrids with it. You can track up the 10 keywords at the same time per GeoGrid, which is cool. So now you can have that in. So when you set up your campaigns, you can set up your GeoGrids. We'll talk about GeoGrids if you're not familiar with it, uh, which is super, really awesome. Another thing that we've uh, getting ready to add in is the ability to set up what I'm calling easy mode. And this is a feature that I was trying to get my programmers to get out today, but they were really having trouble with, uh, you know, some of the code and some things like that. So decide, don't push it. I don't want my, uh, my Kraken to go down the middle of this call. So yeah, I didn't have them rush it out. But basically what the easy mode will do is you'll put in your, you'll choose your location, your latitude, longitude, right? You'll find it on the map and say, okay, I want to go to Cincinnati, Ohio, and I want to rank for uh, metal roofing. And you put in metal roofing, your keywords, say 10 keywords, you choose Cincinnati, Ohio, and you hit calculate. It'll go into Cincinnati, Ohio. It'll do all the searches for you. It'll figure out your CTR that you'll need for it. This is what the easy mode will do. It'll find out your exact CTR. You'll select, say, a prefab recipe that I've set up. You'll choose your recipe. You'll put in your calendar, the days that you want, and you'll hit start. And then it's going to do it for you, right? So it's going to go in immediately. It's going to set up all the right CTR, and then it's going to run that campaign for you. And if you want GeoGrids, it'll do your GeoGrids for you at the same time as well, uh, which is really, really cool. So that's that's an update I'm waiting on right now. So hopefully we can roll that out in the next day or two. Yeah, John, totally, totally dead serious on that. So that's really cool. Another thing that we're working on is adding AI into the CTR tool. And basically what we're going to do when we, when we add AI, and, and I really hate this because it's an overused thing, right? Marketer is always like, let me take you to the next level. Or they're like, hey, I'm gonna roll out some AI. And I'm like, oh, you know, because it's usually bullshit. Excuse my French, it's usually bullshit. And they just use these catch terms, and these catch phrases, and they don't actually mean it, or they don't actually know what they're talking about. Um, but what, what I'm planning on doing is adding in an AI mode that will look at the geogrids for you automatically, find the points of interest on your geogrid that you're lacking. So, you know, if it's a seven or a five, it's yellow, it's not green yet, right? We don't have a green grid. Uh, it'll find those points of interest. It'll find the right CTR. It'll go into that very tight knit location, and then it will work specifically on that point of GeoGrid that you're not ranking very high in, and it will automatically create campaigns based upon those rankings, and then start to boost them up, which is going to be really cool. Another update coming out, uh, hopefully this coming week, is going to allow you to set up traffic 100% per day. At the moment, you cannot do this. But the idea behind this is, is you can calculate in your traffic per day, which is cool, which means you could set up traffic to start out low at the beginning of the month. And then by the end of the month, it looks like your CTR is getting higher. It's going to be 100% controllable traffic that you'll be able to set up per campaign. Save these as recipes instead of having to set them up each time. Just clone that little scheduling recipe pop it in, it's going to be really neat. So let me just, while I'm talking about this, let me switch over to the Kraken. I'll show you what it looks like, how easy it is to use, and uh, why my guys love using this and why I think you would really love using this for ranking your property. So let me go ahead and do a switch. Now, if this kicks me out, Patrick and Gary, there is a possibility it could kick me out. It does it on my own mastermind. So let's hope it doesn't do it. But if Zoom does, I'll pop back in here. But usually whenever I'm sharing a screen, sometimes it will uh, throw me out. Wait a minute. Before you do that, understand there's no re-entry into this webinar. <laughs> Especially with the numbers, right? Thank you, Patrick. 
Thank you. I, I knew that you could give me a kick right in the teeth. I love it. I love it. All right, let me find the right window here. I'm gonna let Gary take over, Mike. I gotta I gotta roll out of here for something else with the family going on, okay? All right, Patrick. Take care, man. Thank you. All right, see ya. Okay, so hopefully everybody's seeing my cracking screen. Gary, do you happen to see this just to confirm? Yes. All right, very good. All right, perfect. So Kraken CTR tool is completely in the cloud. There is zero proxies for you to run. So there's absolutely no uh, proxies at all. You don't install any tools. Everything on my end is covered. So I cover all the cell phones. I cover all the IPs. I cover everything. So you don't install anything. You don't have to pay for any proxies. None of that bullshit. Excuse my French. Okay, so none of that stuff. So everything's in the cloud. You can access it from anywhere that you want. So this is what Kraken looks like within the tool. You have your daily traffic, your active campaign traffic. Uh, this graph does not yet work, but it will work. Uh, so that will be a working graph pretty soon. We're just waiting on updates, of course. Uh, these are all the different campaigns I have running in here. One of the campaigns are completed. They'll show completed. Uh, this one I ended earlier, so I just cloned it and had it set up here. Uh, this is what a geogrid looks like. So you have a geogrid on your campaign when you're running it. This is where it is. Now, obviously, these are not CTR numbers that I would ever, ever, ever recommend. Whenever I do CTR, I tell everybody at max 10 to 15 percent of your total local search volume. And this is extremely important. Less is more. All right, just remember that. Whatever you do in CTR, if you if you get with me, great. If you don't, if you go with someone else, just remember less is more. Just because you have the ability to pump a bunch of traffic in does not mean that you should. And trust me, I see some crazy stuff come into the crack. And this is why one of the reasons why I've created easy mode that we're working on to help resolve you know, the issue of someone coming in saying, hey, since I can slam down the gas, let me just slam down the gas because obviously this is going to get me the rank faster. It totally doesn't. So obviously me doing 1,200 clicks here within a 14-day period, highly not recommended. This was just a, just a case study test. Okay, so that being said, this is what's running here. I can click on GeoGrids. You can see my GeoGrids all within here. It runs every 24 hours. We will have an update out pretty soon to where you can set up timing. Okay, you want to run a GeoGrid every, you know, three days, every week, something like that. You could totally do that in the future. But for now, this is how it works on the keywords. So click on the keywords. You can see the GeoGrid here. That was June 6th. Personal injury attorney, Orlando, Florida. Okay, here we go. Lots of, uh, there's some sevens here, sixes here, fives and fours. Okay, here we go, Orlando. It's kind of a weird split there, but uh, Orlando, okay, that was another one. Accident attorney, Orlando, Florida. Lots of uh, yellows, greens down here, personal injury attorney. Okay, so more greens. That was June 7th, June 8th, June 8th. Okay, so you see how this changed right here, June 8th. That one right here and this one right here changed one day later. Why the big change? Well, the big change was is I was hitting it harder. So I had a lot more CTR coming in and uh, I smashed it. So this is what you'll see if you smash something with too much CTR. You can definitely hurt it. So anyways, anyways, we'll get off the, the GeoGrid right there. But if you want to see what the campaign would look like, this is something else that we just put in two days ago. We put in campaign logs. And this will actually show you what the tool is doing at any given time. And yes, I am well aware of the spelling errors. My programmers, uh, they're from overseas. And uh, spelling is not, in English, their best bet. So... That is something that will definitely be fixed on the next uh, web update that rolls out. But you can see right here when it ran, started the Chrome driver. Okay, so it actually came back here. It ran. 
Website initiated, read on website, screenshot taken, completed, waited one minute, find and follow links, change location. Okay, so it's going right on down through here. Pretty soon it'll be updated. It'll show links that it clicked on, what the ranking was in the search engines, when it found it, what page it found it on, et cetera, et cetera. So that will be updated. Hey, Michael, one question uh, before we get too far ahead. Sure. Um, I got from Pat, uh, everyone I've outsourced this to sends me CTR from the U.S., even though my site is in Canada. Yep. Okay, so here's here's that's a really good question, Pat. Here's two things you got to keep in mind. One, it does not matter where the IP address is located at. This is a big myth in CTR. People think that you have to have an IP address from your location. So what you may be seeing is it coming in from a US IP address. And that's perfectly fine. Where it matters is, is where it does the search. So the way that these CTR tools work, including mine, it does a search within the browser. So that's where it changes the location. It changes the location, goes into the geolocation within the browser. And this works all the way across the board. So it works in I have Canadian guys, a lot of Canadian guys. Daryl Osborne, big marketer, works up in Canada, lives in Canada. He uses the Kraken for all of his ranking. Uh, we're ranking in UK. We're ranking in Sweden, Ireland, Germany. It's, it's all over. So it does not matter uh, where you are with your IP address. What matters is where the searches are done within the browser, within the browser location. So that's a good question. That usually pops up. People will ask me, hey, uh, why is it showing an IP address from the US? It does not matter where the IP address is. What matters is where the searches are done. So they need to be done within the browser. Um, can, can you throttle so they don't blow up their clients? That's right. Absolutely. Again, that's why you don't send more than 10 to 15% CTR max for the location. So you, you got to be really careful. As long as you drip it in, right? You want to drip in your, your views. You don't want to blast the property. And this is actually a tool within here. You can go to Keyword Analyzer. This actually uses my Keywords Anywhere API. So you can see I, I bought about a million credits. Got about 779,000 credits left. Okay, so you put in your keyword right here. Say metal roofing. Uh, let's just do Roofing Repair, um, Ohio, right? Interesting. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, so I screwed that one up. So I did not hit Calculate Stats. So you're supposed to hit Add and you hit Calculate Stats and you can pull it off my Keywords Anywhere right here. So you can put this in on Keywords Anywhere. You can use my API, put in your keyword, click Add, then click Calculate Stats and I'll pull up the correct CTR for that keyword in the location. And then you know, okay, my CTR, you know, is 90. Let me send in, you know, for that location, let me send in 10 to 15% per month. And then you work it up. So, you you know, always recommend people start low. Start low whenever you do this. We just had a great question, and I have no way to answer that yet. Uh, maybe you can address it. When will AI be able to fill in the optimum, optimum amount to send? That is something that we're working on. So again, I was hoping to uh, Katniss. <laughs> I love the name, by the way. Hunger Games is uh, it def that is definitely a Viper member. If that's not a Viper member, I I'd be super impressed. Yeah. Everybody knows the Viper that always used the Hunger Games, so that that's funny on the on the name there, Katniss. So uh, for this, it, it is something we're working heavy on right now, and again, I'm hoping that's going to be coming out very soon. That's the next update. The next update after that one is turning traffic on and off. So right now within our tool, and we'll have it's on the sales page when you get to the sales page when you get to that point. Uh, I have all traffic hidden within the Viper and within the Kraken. So nothing's tracked within Google Search Console. Nothing's tracked on external trackers. Uh, nothing will show up in the Google Analytics traffic. 
I have all my traffic hidden. It's just something that I built into the Kraken when I started. And this kept my traffic from Google's eyes. And uh, last month during the last mastermind, uh, the members voted to have the traffic turned on or off. So we've got an update coming out that will allow you to turn it on per campaign or off per campaign. So in other words, you could turn the traffic on to where it shows up in your uh, Google searches or Google search console or whatnot. But for the time being, our traffic is hidden. Just an FYI on that. That's definitely a good question. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's, let's look at uh, how to stop traffic within the crack in here. So there's a couple of things that you can do. You can come into your dashboard. This is the campaign recipes. So what I've done is I've created a number of recipes myself and I made them public and I've shared them with people. And then there's of course some that I did not want to share, which you can see right here, I have them listed as private. The ones that are public and shared, people can easily come in and add a recipe and I'll show you what that looks like, make edits to it very quickly and then start your campaign. Or you can come in and build traffic campaigns from scratch. So let's go ahead and go over the create campaigns, create campaign right here. And you put in your campaign name. So let's say uh, GMB test category, let's say uh, Florida attorney, okay. Number of searches, we're just gonna say, let's say 75 searches and we're gonna do it over a 30 day drip. I want to choose both mobile and desktop for the search. Some will do both. And if I wanted to do a geo grid, here's how I would do it. I'd click new grid. I'd go to my business name. So I'm going to go to this uh, GMB right here. And we'll put this in. Okay, grid. Let's say I want to do a five by five grid. And I want to do this within a 500 meter. Uh, keywords would be, let's say, accident. Uh, Attorney, Orlando, Florida. And just an FYI, this is not my client. This is someone I just pulled random and I did a case study on them. Okay, so let's go over here and we'll copy this. We're gonna drop this in, hit search. Okay, here we are, we can do control. We can zoom it all the way down in here if we wanted to. Oops. <laughs> Let's do reset, okay. So we can go down, we can see where this location is exactly if we wanted to. So it's right here, here's the latitude, longitude, automatically puts it in and then we'll hit save. Now, typically it would confirm that save has been done, but uh, this is a recent addition. So it's not gonna show it as saved. You just hit save, you hit close and now your geo grid is set up, okay. Next thing that I want to do is I want to add a recipe in here. So I'm going to do add recipe and I'm going to go to one of my prefab recipes I've already created and I'm going to click it right here. Okay, recipes added. So what this does is it tells me Houston, Texas, accident attorney. This is actually for Florida. It tells me I have eight commands in here. So I have eight commands and the commands are within the recipe here. So first off, what it's going to do is we're going to move this up here because I just did a demo on this. So we'll do change location, accident attorney, Florida, read on website, wait one minute. It's going to find and follow a link internally. So it goes to the about us page here. It's going to wait two minutes, I believe. Yep. It's going to take a screenshot on that page about us and it's going to read on that website. Read on website means basically the mouse is going to move around it's going to scroll up and down the page and it's going to do a lot of uh, really cool stuff, you know, overall on the page. And this is how a recipe is set up. Now, what I did here is I not only, this is kind of a recent update as well. What I added in were the recipes to the campaigns. Now, a typical without sounding too technical here. I'm gonna try to break this down to not be so technical sounding. But basically, if you go to another CTR tool, let's say that, I'm not gonna name names, but let's say you go to one called uh, AA, okay? Let's say you go to AA, 
And I'm not going to say the name of this CTR tool. And they have uh, 10 campaigns that you can set up. And you want to run 10 GMBs on AA. You are limited to 10 campaigns. That's one GMB per campaign. Okay. So I just want to just want to say, okay, name, no, no, AA, you have 10 campaigns. That's one GMB per campaign. That's 10 GMBs. Now, what you can do within here, within this campaign, within one campaign, you can have 10 recipes, which means, okay, this is one recipe, right? This is one direction here. So we have traffic coming in and doing a GMB search. But on this campaign, I could come in here and I could say, add recipe, okay? And on this one, I'm gonna go down the shared recipes and I'm going to do a website bounce search, okay? So I'm gonna click this recipe in here. Now I've got another recipe within this campaign, which means an entirely different search within this campaign. So for this one, it'd be a bounce search. So it's going to do a location change and you'd come in here and you'd want to set up your location, right? So when you add a recipe in, everything is set up. You just come in and make edits. A bounce search is, you're going to say, okay, number of bounces, let's say four bounces. Number of pages it's going to search is three pages because you're ranked on number three of Google, uh, th third page of Google, I should say. You're going to put your keywords in here up to 25 keywords. Put in your whatever you want, your custom name, you'd say bounce search here. Your website link for your website that you want it to go to, right? Because the first one we had was GMB. But let's say you want to put in your website here. Put your website in Google. It's going to do four searches, click on your competitors four times and bounce out of them before it finds your page, your website on page three. Okay, so we have this journey set up now. So for this one, it's going to bounce out. It's going to read on the website. It's going to wait a determined time, find and follow an internal link. It's going to take a screenshot on that page after it reads, waits, finds another link internally, reads on the website, waits, right? That could be the contact this page. I can now come back in here. I can say, okay, I want to add another recipe in, right? So now we're on two recipes in one campaign, All right? So this is basically... Just think of it this way, 10 mini campaigns per campaign. So let's say that regular Kraken gives you 25 campaigns. I am going to break a cardinal rule here, Gary. And I'm going to tell you guys something that I should not say at all, but I'm going to tell you just because, just because, George, you need to smack me right now before I spill the beans on this. I'm not joking when I say this. Now, I want you guys to think about this. 10 recipes per campaign. Okay, you don't necessarily have to have every recipe for that particular client. You could literally set up 10 individual micro campaigns within one campaign, which would bypass the crack and limit of 25 total campaigns and really give you 250 campaigns. Now, do you guys understand what I just shared with you? Do you understand the implications? You could really create, I mean, you could bypass my limit of, uh, of 10, you know, 25 campaigns, and you could really put 10 campaigns per campaign, which would literally be 250 campaigns within the system. So, that is something I put in. I thought about it afterwards. I thought, should I actually ever share this with anybody? And I don't think I've actually shared that idea with my uh, my mastermind members yet. Because I was like, some of these guys have 2,000 campaigns. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, if they have a heavy hitter account and they have 2,000 campaigns, they could literally put in probably 20,000 campaigns into the crack, and which would be nuts. But anyways, I digress. So. We have two mini campaigns within here, right? Now I could come in, I could do a website search, simple recipe. I could click this. So now we have another one. Okay, and you can have a total of 250 actions per campaign. So that's eight actions. That's 11 actions, so we're at 19 actions. We're at five more actions, so we're at 24 total actions. Okay, so you can make these campaigns long, and these are just recipes I'm adding in. 
But if you wanted to, you could set up a new group in here and you could say, okay, for this group, we're going to call this uh, campaign for category, uh, let's say um, websites uh, ranking Google. Okay, we'll hit save. Okay, so now we've got a new campaign right here, zero actions, campaigns for, and now I can come underneath here and I can build custom. And I can say, okay, let's go in the browser. Let's do a change location. And we're going to hit save. Okay. Now, of course, you can put in your change location there. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to do referral sites. Now, this is something that I did not have in my other recipes. And basically, the referral sites, you can have up to 500 referral sites in here. And this is a personal request by Bradley Benner. If you guys know Bradley Benner over at Semantic Mastery, uh, he requested that I put this into the Kraken forum. So we actually custom built it just for him, but everybody gets to benefit off of it. And basically what this does is it starts the search from a tab in the browser of whatever website is located here. So for Bradley, what he wanted to do was he wanted to start searches from his tier one links or his tier two links. So he wanted to take all of, say, his, someone mentioned earlier, CTRFI sites, all of his tier two CTRFI sites or tier one CTRFI sites. And he wanted to put them all in here. So it's comma separated, right? So you could do uh, HTTPS, let's do, um, <laughs> I'm just going to type here, comma HTTPS. Um, Right, so you do this, click add, boom, separates them, right? So you could put in your tier one links, tier two links, whatever, and it links up. So when it does the searches in Google, it starts from the same tab where these links are, which is a major SEO benefit. So just a little golden nugget there. If you're wanting to send in traffic from tier one, tier two links, this is a great thing to have a referral sites in here, right? So we'll do that. So we'll do change location. We want to put referral sites in. We want to save that, okay? Change location of referral sites. Next thing that we want to do is we want to go into say Google and we want to do a, see there's a lot of different things we could do here. So let's do a Google search, right? So we want to do a Google search. We hit save, okay? So goes in, does a Google search. I think actually I need to have a website in there. I don't think it's going to allow me to add that in without site. But anyways, we go in, does the website search, adds it in. And then after the website search, we're going to do, right, we're just building this. So we're just building this straight from the ground up. And you can come in, you can do direct link search. If you want to skip Google, you could do a direct link search. Uh, if you wanted to find an internal link, you could do find and follow link. If you wanted to watch an embedded video on the page, on the first page, you could totally do that. If you wanted to have it go on YouTube, you could have it do this. These are built-in recipes. Let's say that you're a podcaster and you want to rank a podcast. You could do Google Podcast. You could do Apple Podcast. Um, Daryl Osborne over there asked me to put in a new podcasting platform, which we're waiting on the programmers to put it in. But these are the current ones that we have in here. So you can put in your podcast. You can have it search for it. It'll listen to the podcast for a certain amount of time before it leads. Uh, you can have it go on the Rumble and do a Rumble search. You can have it go on the Quora. Anything is buildable on here a million different ways. So you can see I have four different recipes here. And let's say that you make a mistake. You can drag and drop it, right? It's just simple. Simple. You make a mistake, you can drag and drop right in between here too. So if you make a mistake within, you can drag and drop. If you added up something wrong, drag and drop. Uh, it is super, super simple to use this tool when you're building your campaigns or whenever you're setting up your recipes. So we have really four campaigns within this campaign. It's going to send in 75 views, scheduling is 30. We have GeoGrid set up on here, total credits, 31 credits. So what I would do is I would hit submit. Okay, I hit submit here. I'm gonna refresh it. 
And here we go. GMB Tellus, Florida attorney. It's running 075, created June 9th. Ends June 9th because I did not put that scheduler on, but I made the changes there at the end. And uh, we have the GeoGrids here. If I wanted to clone it and make a simple clone, I could hit clone. Okay, I could make any changes I wanted to it. We could name it right here. We'll leave it as clone. Hit update, success, refresh, GMB test clone. That's how simple it is, right? That's how simple. Now, let's say that you made a mistake after you set this up. You could come in here and click edit, change that to a 30-day drip, make any changes in here that you want, add any changes in, hit update, boom. And now you've got it updated. If you want to delete it, it will give you, hey, wait a second, are you sure you want to do that? Hit confirm, takes it right off completely, right? So super fast, super easy to run, easy to set up your campaigns. And creating your recipes, you can set up your recipe right here, name it, your category, set completely custom for clients, unlimited recipes. If you want to create a mass campaign, you could literally create a mass campaign here. And you could set up a template, download an Excel file, add in all of your information. These are for really the heavy hitters. Say you have a thousand campaigns that you want to run. You could download a template, upload it, hit generate, and then boom, send it off, right? So it's a very easy tool, very simple to use. Lots of uh, updates coming out. And uh, any of the transaction history you want to see, you can see it all within here. And you can see what the latest ones are. Updated, I cloned it, Orlando, June 9th. Okay, update campaign, GMB test, price, if there was a price change on updating changes, anything like that. David, that's a really good question. Uh, we are both typing and we're pasting in. And we're also adding in, this is randomly done, so we don't have it just typing in everything or copy and pasting in everything. We also are working on adding Bing into our uh, into our searches. So there'll be an option coming out very soon for Bing as well. We did work on adding an audio. That was something I really wanted to have is uh, changing it to audio and doing an audio search, but we had a devil of a time trying to get that to work. And that would be kind of a, I guess that would be a custom question that we could have. I'll have to talk to the programmers and see if possibly put an option. I hadn't even thought about it until you said it, David, of maybe allowing people to choose. Do you want to have searches typed in or pasted in? We just, you know, had to automatically pick it within the tool. The big thing that we're always trying to avoid is Google. So we're trying to randomize everything that we do to make it uh, look unique. John, that really depends on the type of car you got, man. You know, we, we really didn't overprice this. We tried to make this as, uh, you know, affordable as we can. We'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, so, James, good question on training here. We have full training. I have a lot of videos, and I'm constantly updating my videos on training. So you'll get a welcome email, probably about seven different videos that go through showing how to use everything from the geo grids, setting up campaigns. And depending on uh, which package you get, uh, you'll be invited to either one Facebook group or two different Facebook groups. So George, if you're still in here, I hate to tell you, but I'm uh, reopening that area where you guys are right now. It's been closed for six months. <laughs> so you may you may see some familiar faces coming in here. Uh, that's a good question, Dave. You can use this for Amazon. You can. I've seen people put it in. You can put any link in here that you want to send traffic to. Absolutely.
Gary, do you want to drop a link so I can show where the uh, I can show the testimonials? Or well, actually, I can probably do this within the Facebook group. Let's do this. Where do you drop that link? Okay, there you go. There's the link. Let's go into the Viper Tools group, and I'll show you guys <laughs> what we had here with some of the people. Okay, Ryan is uh, one of my mastermind users. He's been with me for a while now. And uh, he likes to do a lot of case studies. So this was Ryan's case study right here. You could see it updating on his GeoGrid. And uh, this is using the Kraken. What he's done, zero backlinks, zero content mirroring, zero stack, zero anything, only CTR. Okay, this person had a domain that lapsed. They lost it. Google auto removed the website from their GMB. He got it back. I'm building him a website, but in the meantime, using Free GMB page right here with literally zero content. Just the stuff he pulled from the GMB profile. Only has five reviews. Since May 22nd, and this was May 26th, so in four days' time, I have run 12 branded GMB queries, six broad keyword GMB queries, and that's it. Okay, deleted a 522 scan, but basically all 20s. Then yesterday it started to show up a little, and now we see it popping. This heat map is only for a three mile radius, so it's not huge. Okay, four days of CTR, and that's it. He didn't do anything else. And so that was really good. So he's really been breaking down on his, uh, on his shares here within here, which is awesome. Another one that loves to share is uh, David. So, David, right here, great testimonial. Uh, this was a YouTube video that he actually did for me. You can see right here, CTR from number 100 to GBP in 30 days. Okay, and you can see this right here on the thumbnail. Let's see if we can open that up. Full scale right here. Yep. So March, it was way down there of nothing and took it right off, right? Which was awesome. Ryan and, uh, yeah, here's another one. This was Elias. So Elias is over in, I believe, Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland right here. Okay, so this is his uh, grid. Create a CTR GMB uh, campaign with Kraken for an SEO agency in Switzerland. Doing some referral traffic to the website. Took two to three months. They're dominating the three-pack. Uh Elias has been doing a really great job right here, which is awesome. So there's Elias. Okay, mm -hmm. cracking updates. Hey, Michael, we got one yes. question. Can they apply this to an affiliate site? Yes. Yes, they can. Yes, mm -hmm. anything that any sites, Google sites, GMB sites, uh, Google pages, spreadsheets, Google My Maps. Uh, Daryl does a lot of that, sending into Google My Maps and any type of URL absolutely can. And here on the page where you are, you can see right here, like Ryan. Okay, so we just went through another one. Here's another one for Ryan. You can see his geo grids, how they got totally green up here. We have Elias. We have two videos. One, this guy was down in Florida. Now, I got to tell you, I'll be honest with you, it says Tampa. A uh, plumber, but he was actually going after a law niche. I'm not going to tell you what type of lawyer, but he did a Tampa lawyer, and he absolutely slayed it. He didn't want to give away his niche, so he called it plumber, mm -hmm. and uh, went through this video. So he didn't want anybody digging into his particular niche that he went for. But uh, what was kind of funny was it started out with this guy. Uh, he was in the, a very similar niche, and he actually used Kraken against his competitor's website and his competitor's GMB, and he thought, well, let me just, I'm going to just kind of use this as an example. Let me see what I can do. And he ended up outranking his own client, his own <laughs> client's GMB and website with this right here. And he was like, oh, my God, now I've got to try to get these people on this, my client. So that was uh, that was really, really funny. That was a really, really funny one. And then down here, you'll see the mastermind. I have a short little testimonial video here. So there are two different products. And let me go back through the questions here in just a second. 
and we'll go back through and address some of the questions. So we have two different, we have crack and regular gold. That's 297 after discount. You get 2,500 credits a month, 25 campaigns simultaneously, up to 10 recipes per campaign, 10 keywords per uh, geogrid, and that's right here. So, you know, this is a very versatile tool. And this wasn't something I was planning on releasing. It wasn't until Patrick and Gary uh, offered to run this that I was like, oh, snap, I need to get something else in here. So this is actually when I uh, came out with the mastermind combo. And this was literally in just the last few days. So before this, I had a mastermind and we called it the platinum mastermind. Uh, so if you were a platinum member back in the day, we closed it end of December. So end of December, we closed it completely off and uh, it's no longer being sold. So for the last six months, the mastermind's been closed. And it's been solely, uh, you know, with the current members that we have in there, which is awesome. So we have a we have a really good fun time within the mastermind. Typically, what I do with my masterminds is I run them a little unconventional. And George could probably be a testimonial to this on here of how I run them. So typically, I get in, I talk. Uh, for about an hour, I answer questions, talk about tools, talk about updates, upgrades, et cetera, et cetera. And then after that, we go into the after party. And after party is something I created back in 2019. Uh, it really came into fruition during the COVID pandemic when everybody was stuck inside and uh, they didn't have anywhere to go. They didn't know what to do. Uh, so we did is uh, I did this after party, everybody's requested to turn off all of the recorders. So I don't screen record, I don't record, everybody turns off the recorders, and then everybody's able to talk amongst themselves. And it really creates a lot of engaging content. So just to give you an idea, last week, the mastermind went from the after party lasted, let's see, your mastermind lasted from three o'clock until about 3.45 p.m., right, about 45 minutes on Tuesday. And then after party started up, Merlino, of course, came in. So if you guys know Michael Merlino, uh, he's quite a character. He's been with me for about four years now. And uh, you can see EJ there in the middle. He's awesome. Tall Paul. Uh, Paul was in there, which is great. Yondo, me, of course. Uh, Tim Judge and then Tim Parker, if you know Tim Parker. Super, super, super smart guy. Very cool. SEO, very knowledgeable. Anyways, long story short, uh, that started about 3.45 after party, and it ended almost at 8 o'clock. It went on for about five hours. Now, of course, not everybody sticks around for the after party, and not everybody stays for the after party. Uh, but those that do, you never know when a gold nugget's going to drop. You never know what the topic is going to be on. Last week's topic was chat GPT, uh, SEO strategies, all these different SEO tools. Usually I get about 50 different tabs open on my own browser because people are sharing so much SEO knowledge. I'm opening up tab after tab after tab. Plugins are being talked about. All sorts of tools are being talked about. So anything, anything can be talked about in the after party. There's no restriction. Uh, I don't put a restriction on it. Anybody can talk about any tool they want. There's no affiliate links offered. There's no pressure. It's whatever whatever the topic is, whatever people want to talk about, whatever SEO strategy. And some of these guys in here are master SEOs and ladies. We have a couple of lady SEO gurus that come in, like Valerie. She's awesome. Alex, Julian will sometimes come in. Uh, and they're super powered SEOs, and they'll just come in and start talking about their knowledge and talking about ranking and ranking strategies and new things and chat GPT and mid-journey. And before you know it, three hours have gone by, and it's like drinking from a from a fire hose. It's just water blowing out of your, your nostrils because you got so much SEO knowledge coming in. So uh, it's it's very cool. It's very hey, neat. Hey, yeah. Real quick, I want to throw sure. in the TRS bonus. Yeah. Because what it will do for them, it will basically bring that first month down to $97, no matter which product you get. 
Oh, nice. Uh, the TRS coins guys work like this. Uh, they're they're about sixty percent. Uh, One hundred and fifty is worth two hundred. Okay, the two hundred one is it. It won't quite bring you down ninety seven. Uh, the two hundred would be about. I don't have my calculator here. Probably about two hundred and eighty dollars worth of value um, towards any product that we have. So it would make a heck of a, a discounted first month. You could get your feet wet, find the value of the product, um, and it, it takes away your risk factor 100% because you're going to get, once you use this product, you're going to have a heck of a time not continuing using the product once you know how well it works. Um, Guy, you may have to cut and paste the links. Um, they are live and they've been tested. So yeah, I just, just tested it. So it is working for me too. It's working. You may have to cut and paste out of, out of the chat. You did that. Hmm. Oh. Um, Guy, if you get with Rod on Skype, his Skype is Rally136. And he can help you out. Uh, coupon should be good here. So you go to the coupon page here, and you put in a uh, ranking store, right? All one word, all lowercase. Nice and you put that in. Mind. Okay, so guy, uh -huh. if you want, go here, and. Uh, Email my support there, that link, and we'll get you taken care of. Yeah, we'll figure a way to take care of you, Skype or no Skype. Yeah, make sure you got that code in there. Oh, they, yeah, Gary, you put in the ranking store, man. Discount code is just ranking store. Oh, uh oh, oh. Guys, ranking store, just ranking store. So <laughs> that's it. So code is... Uh, yeah, sorry about that. We weren't trying to. We were trying to get that extra money going. Trying to get that extra money there, Gary. Jeez, man. Yeah. I think Patrick set that up, man. Yeah. I think that was totally Patrick. Also, just an FYI, on this page, it also says, okay, so with the mastermind, you get access to the Viper Indexer. You got access to the GeoGrid standalone uh, tracker. So that's outside of the Kraken. So you don't have to set up Kraken campaigns. You could just add them directly into the GeoGrid tracker for your clients. You could totally do that. You got access to the weekly live mastermind and after party. You got access, uh, really a discount, I should say, for other tools that are released under the mastermind. You get discounts on any courses I release. And you'll get early access and a discount to the Megalodon, which is coming Christmas of 2023. So we just started programming Megalodon here. Hey, Michael. And I wish I could tell you what the Megalodon is, but I got to tell you what. People are always copying my freaking tools. So... I mentioned Megalodon on uh, about six months ago to my Platinums. And I mentioned exactly what it was. And I went into extreme detail. And last mastermind, I found out that this big SEO guy, I'm not going to name the name, all of a sudden is coming out with a tool that's 100% of what I was talking about six months ago. So there's always spies everywhere. And I find it incredibly suspicious that he would be coming out with a tool that I mentioned six months ago on Megalodon. So I do not want to release what I'm going to be creating here. But let's just say it's, it's completely cloud-based. And uh, whatever it is, it'll be able to create thousands of things within an hour, just put it that way. 
So Megalodon, actually the flag back here, which you can't, I don't think you can see my face right now, but uh, the flag in the background that I have back there, the black flag, is covering my board that I have Megalodon written on. So I have half of that over there, and it's my whiteboard. So, you know, that's just how it is. You can see some of the writing over there. So Megalodon is hopefully planned for Christmas. That's the plan right now. I figured it's going to take about six months to get it created. And uh, it's going to be awesome. That's all I can say. It's going to be awesome. Hey, hey Michael, we just yeah. did something a little extra. We're going to increase for the combo special to 250 TRS coins. That's worth $375. So basically that first month is just like a, a kickball. You get to kick it around for virtually nothing just to, you know, play with it and get the feel for it and know how good it really is. Nice. Nice, Gary. That's great, man. That's awesome. All right, guys, y'all have any questions? Any questions I may have missed? Oh, that's a good question. Amy Blaine said, question, do the properties you're spending, uh, that you're sending this to, need to be ranking? No, absolutely not. They, they can be way down. You could say page 10 of Google. And I'll go down and find it. If it's unable to find the property, it goes directly to it. It's a fail safe. So if it doesn't find it, it'll go directly to it until it starts to rank. But you could tell it to go to page 16 if you wanted to, and it would find it. So it will go and find it and then rank it. And Kraken works very, very well. Now, I'm not saying it's a miracle tool. So don't expect to rank it in three days. You know, it really depends on your, it depends on your niche. It depends on your competition. It does depend on your SEO, your on-page SEO. It depends on a lot of different factors. You know, this is not a, an easy button that you're going to push one time and you're going to be ranking on page one of Google. I'm not going to tell you that. But depending on what you're doing, what type of niche, how much traffic you're sending in, how consistent you are about it, you're definitely going to see movement and eventually you're going to be ranking. So, yeah. Yeah, that's true. You got to always protect your assets. Absolutely. You're fine, Amy. No problem at all. Nope. We hey, we got some last minute questions coming now. We got. I do going. see that popping in here, Mama Mia. Uh, Charles, call it, yeah, mass pay, yeah, yeah, absolutely, and it works great on all the stuff that Gary and Patrick have created. All the calendars, the maps, all of those things, you can send traffic right through it. A lot of our members are using it because, as Patrick and Gary had said earlier, I sold a ton of their product. So I got a lot of sales with my guys and uh, and girls, and a lot of them were uh, ranking them. They're creating calendars. They're selling them like hotcakes. So they're using it constantly within the Kraken. You'd be surprised what I see within there. And I'm looking up at my screen right now because I'm running. I'm running about uh, 310 VPSs up here within the Kraken Viper systems that I'm looking at right now. So I can see all the all the stuff running, all the GMB oh, websites. Here's, a, here's an excellent question we, we really would have to address. What's the cost of additional credits each month? I have several large sites that would eat up the base credits each month. Sorry if I missed this earlier. That's uh, a really good question. Uh, Richard, I, I got to tell you, last... I'm being completely honest with you. I created a credit-based system, which you would naturally think, uh, okay, this guy's going to be making credit sales all the time. Last month was the second credit package I've sold in four years. People don't buy additional credits. They don't use that many credits. It really, when you're using the Kraken system, it's super affordable. So let's say you get 5,500 credits on the base credits per month. 
I would be incredibly impressed if you blew through those credits in one month. I mean, I would be really impressed because I, I have guys you, running... I think you addressed that earlier, how to get those extra campaigns slid in there without having to deal with it. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, you really don't... You really would... I, the only way that you would blow it out is, let's say you got combo and you use the Viper Indexer. So Viper Indexer is using an API to another indexing tool that I pay externally. So... I'm paying, it's an API that I have to pay for. I pass that on to the end user. Basically, the Viper indexer is five credits per link. That's the only way I could see that you would blow it out. So if you drop, say, a thousand links in, drop a thousand links in, you're going to blow the living daylights out of your credits. Absolutely. And I remember this guy back in the day, he's from Australia. I, I love, I love this dude. Um, I actually really miss him because he, he quit. He quit about six months ago, and uh, he took a, a job, a factory job, and uh, doing cars, Volvo cars, I think, or something like that. Uh, just got out of internet marketing. Anyways, long story short, he used to come to the masterminds, and he always used to crack me up because he'd be laying back with like a sub sandwich on his stomach while, while the masterminds going on. And he was he was really a nice dude. Been with me for like six years. And he had a ton of credits. And he took a mass page website. And he literally dropped something like 150,000 links into the indexer. And he blew most of his credits on his account. And he had like 400,000 credits on his account. He'd been a longtime member. And yeah, when you're in the mastermind, like sometimes uh, if it's my birthday, I'll you know, the guys are like, hey, Michael, what are you going to do for your birthday? I'm like, hey, here's 50,000 credits or here's 10,000 credits. And I'll add, you know, during a mastermind, they're always pulling. This is what I'm saying. If you're in the mastermind one, especially, you're never going around with credits. This is why no one ever buys credits because I'm always giving them away. Yeah, John D. John, John's a mastermind member. And he knows. He knows. I know. I am the worst marketer for making money on the side with credits. It really is because I never sell credits. I know that's a terrible thing to say. I mean, for me, you know, it's not like I'm rolling in the jam here with uh, with credit sales. So, yeah, I really would be I would be impressed if you ran out of credits. I would think, A, you're doing something wrong or two, you use the indexer. So I hope that answers your question. I, I don't think you'd run out of credits at all. And if you do, we'll take some out of John's account. We'll give them to you. Sorry, John T. <laughs> yeah, four more screens to me. I I really did not need it. Let, let's just say it was an upgrade that I really should not have done. You know, it was like, do I get a do I get a, a slider deal at the burger joint or do I get a single hamburger? And I went with the slider. And I think the extra screens here harm me. Let's see here. So John, so you basically snap on a tool. Yeah, basically, or a quad stack. I like that Easter Bunny credits. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what tricks the guys pull on me. No, really. They do. They pull it all the time. Hey, Michael, it's my birthday. What are you going to give me? I'm like, half of John D's credits? I don't know. Merlino especially. If you know Merlino, Merlino, he gets credits out of me like I'm a slot machine out in Vegas. Actually, they never pay <laughs> He's always he's always getting me to give credits out, free credits. Indeed, Dan. Indeed. Memorial Day credits, Christmas credits. It's ridiculous. Yeah, any other questions? Any other CTR questions? We're all quiet on the home front.
Okay, does everybody understand how the, the TRS coins will work? Give, give us a one if you understand all that. Not really, okay. Rod put the answer in for you a little earlier. Let me see if we can cut and paste that. Well, I had to go back a long ways to get to it. Oh, here we go. There we go. 250 coins is worth $375. 200 coins is worth $300. Yeah, Dan, actually, I am. I'm smoking uh, this morning. I wanted to go out before this call. So I rolled over the Harris Theater, picked up uh, four big Angus rib uh, Angus ribs. And we'll smoke uh, Angus ribs tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I got a, uh, got a local priest coming out. He wants to watch uh, the movie Nefarious in my theater room. So yesterday I had a bunch of people over. They watched Nefarious in the theater room. We were able to squeeze uh, twelve people in there, which was a little tight, you know, because the theater chairs are only six. And I had to put some additional chairs in, but it was good. If you guys haven't seen that movie, I highly recommend it. Nefarious, <laughs> standing bare room only. Yeah, exactly, Dan. It was good. Although they found my candy stash, and I lost half my candy last night, which really sucked. And it wasn't Kit Kats. It was... Uh, oh, what do you call it? Rice Krispie Treats. Yeah, it was good. John, I'm on hamburger, not steak. Good on, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good. Now, i tell you what I was wanting to get today, and I forgot. Bananas. I was going to make a smoked banana boat, which uh, I've never done before. So you take the banana, you slice it down the middle, and you stick it in the smoker for 45 minutes. And before you go in, you put in... Uh, um, chocolate chips with uh, caramel chocolate chips, right? You put those in the inside, crush up graham crackers, smoke it for about 45 minutes, pull it out, and then drizzle warm caramel and chocolate right on top. Put some ice cream, you know, scoops on it, you know, and then you dig out that smoked banana. Oh, oh man, yeah. I forgot to get the bananas, though, dog on it. Hmm. Making me hungry. Mickey, Mick, sorry, Mick. Uh, if the search volume is low for local, what would CTR volume be? You know what? Anytime there's a super low, like even if it doesn't even show up like a zero, I recommend putting in, say, a 12, 12 searches for a 30 day drip period and see what it does. So minimally, I'll put in half of the search. So if it's a 30-day drip, I put in, say, 12 searches, 15 searches, and see if I see any movement. And if I see a movement happen, then I go from there. Jill, there's no such thing as a heart health dessert, man. Listen, <laughs> my philosophy in life is eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow we die. You never know. I mean, if you can see it here on the camera, you can see my scar. My heart surgery scar. So if you could see that right here, you never know when you're going to die. So why even worry? Just enjoy life. Life is short. You only live once. Exactly. Half Forbes. Can't say Smokey and Merlino in the same system. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Merlino was puffing it big time on Tuesday. Sorry, Merlino. And, uh... We lost them for a while. It was great. It was super funny. I don't think I've ever seen Merlino on a call without ripping it on something. 
national affiliate program, James, it really depends on what it is. Depends on the product. You know, it depends on the product, depends on the location. Just got to search for the keyword volume for that, look at a location. But if you're doing a national search, I mean, some of my guys for national keywords will go 4,000 searches in a month for national keyword. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. And those are sometimes big keywords that they're going for. So it really does depend on what they're doing. Dan, Merlito should be the smoking bracket. I should put them in the mid journey. Put them into my mid journey when I'm creating this Kraken uh, logo that I'm working on right now. Maybe I'll put Merlino in there, put them up on the bow of the ship, you know, smoking it. That would be epic. Especially if we do have a good question here, Mike. Yeah. Uh, Mickey B says, I'm in a niche where some have a GPA, GPB with an address showroom, others for the service area. Uh, with a without an address, do you think this would make any difference to the rankings? Uh, I've never seen a difference with the rankings, though. No. We have a lot of people on the mastermind that talk about this, and they're sending in the same type of CTR with it. Service area or business or using a GPP with the address. No, I don't think that would matter, Mickey. Great question, though. Very good question. Gary, filet mignon, mama mia. You hey, guys are making me hungry. If you got to have something, you might as well have the best. I mean, why not, right? Again, you only live once. And take it from a heart patient. Just go for it. What have you got to lose? Any other questions? Any other SEO, GBP? Dan, are people running the crack into the location pages that are on the point back to the GMP? People are doing that as well, yes. Some people are setting up campaigns that go to the GBP, click on the website, click on the location pages, and then go from location page back to the main website and sometimes back to the main search. But we've been kind of going back and forth on using the back button. Some some people are using the back button and that could be seen as negative SEO. So we don't recommend going back, but we do recommend setting up a journey around. Justin, basically what the easy button would be putting in your keywords, putting in your location, your city search location, and hitting calculate, choosing recipe. At least this is what I'm thinking. I've not yet seen the creation that the programmers have created yet. And on a perfect day, you would enter it in, hit start, and it would do it for you. So you wouldn't have to try to figure it out. Because like I said, I've seen some mistakes. Had a guy doing window washing out in Ohio. And he bought Kraken, and he came in, and he got up with me on a call, and I told him, be very, very low CTR. And did he listen? No. He set up crack and to send in 500 views a day. 500 views a day for something that should have been only getting 75 searches in a month. It was a disaster. And I actually made a YouTube video about them on YouTube called uh, "What Not, How Not to Do CTR. I, of course, blurred out his information and his name, but he knew it was about him, and he got really angry about it. And I told him, I was like, you know, I told you not to do this. Why did you do this? So this is why I want to create an easy button, because people, regardless of how many times I'll say, don't do this, they'll do it, because they have the ability to do it. So I want to kind of create a, a system that will allow you to just put in your keywords, your location, and have it do it for you. So there's gonna be two different options, easy button versus more advanced button. And I have a feeling that even with that, people are still going to do stuff that, is, that are crazy. See, with the other CTR tool, AA, which I'm not gonna say, 
uh, that other tool, they do not allow you to choose your search. They tell you to put, you put in your keywords, you put in your location, and it does it for you, right? Does it automatically. And it kind of gave me that idea of, you know what, there's a, there's a reason behind this. And I don't know if the reason was to stop people from making dumb mistakes or if it was just the way that they designed it. But that's what I was thinking. I thought, well, you know what, let me see if I can put in an easier option that will stop people from stomping the gas because you can stomp the gas and just hammer it. Hey, Michael, can we do yep. a, a final question out here? Unless somebody really has something important. Sure. Um, somebody wanted to know how exclusive this group is going to be. I'm assuming he's talking about the mastermind combo and when that would be cut off and how many people would be uh, allowed into the into the mastermind itself. The mastermind is always... That's a rough question to answer, but... That's a rough question. You know, right now, on average, the mastermind gets... I would say on average, it gets 45 people a week. Now, that's just coming live. 45 people live. There's definitely a lot more people in the mastermind than that. But the people that come live, about 45, by the end of, sometimes if it goes seven hours, sometimes uh, there'll be maybe 25 people left that, that hang on for dear life. Because sometimes I'll drop something at the very end. <laughs> and Merlito refuses to leave. It's funny watching him. He's hanging on by his fingernails, just in case. Uh, so exclusivity, what's in the mastermind stays in the mastermind. What's in the after party is not shared at all. So the people that watch replays of the mastermind, they only see the first hour. They miss out on everything in the after party. All of that's exclusive. So on that end, that's exclusive. But the mastermind really is not a lot of people. You know, any given time, it's usually around 50 people that come live. And like I said, it's across the board. You have people like Tim Parker. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Tim Parker. He's Google used to fly a team to Charlotte, North Carolina, where he lives, and they would take him out to dinner because he, he did about 300 million in Google ads. He's a massive seller of leads. He's a lead seller a Google Ads expert, et cetera, et cetera. Very good guy. We have guys in there and girls, but guys in particular that I know that don't take on clients for anything less than 20000 a month. Some don't take on clients for $50,000 a month. Uh, we have people that are experts across the board in SEO, GBP. Uh, there's a guy in there that can track your cell phone regardless of where it is, and he does this for businesses. He finds out everything on a person's cell phone and, and track you know the, he he's, a, he's an expert in what he does and you rarely see this guy but he'll come in occasionally uh we have other members that will just show up every now and then you get a wide range of people so it's a bunch of seo people across the board we have noobs we have experts we have people that are shy and they don't think they have anything to share but then when they get on the mic, you're like, what? Why, why have you been so quiet? You know, and yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing the people that come in. And not everybody gets up and does, you know, on the call. Some people are just quiet. They just stay quiet. But I always say, watch out for the quiet ones. Because the quiet ones are usually the people that are making the most money. As Merlino likes to say, bring it home the most bread. Okay, that's not Merlino quote. That was terrible. That was a terrible Merlino quote, but if it was Merlino, there'd be quite a few F-bombs in there, and I can't say that on call. And I don't really, you know, cuss. So anyways, it's funny with Merlino, but we have a wide range of people. So you have people in there like Merlino and and Tim Judge and Tim Parker and uh, Brent Bowser. He comes in every now and usually he's driving his car. And I'm always like, you need to go Tim Horton. So, you know, so many different people. And I, over the years, I've seen partnerships start up, friendships start up, relationships start up. 
long-term, you know, business and, and friends and people flying across the country to see each other. It's amazing what the dynamics of the group are. And I love I love it every week going in, seeing seeing my guys every week, just seeing how everybody's doing, you know, what's going on in their life, what the top is going to be about. At, most of the time it's us, you know, sometimes it will go off the bridge. And occasionally the conversation will go into the you know, I don't know if you guys ever heard of West Coast AM radio at three o'clock in the morning, but sometimes it goes off the bridge and you'll get a UFO conversation going. I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, come on. So you never know where the conversation is going to go, but there's a lot of brilliant people in there. And uh, it's funny. It's funny hearing what people's lives are like and their businesses and what they're doing and affiliate and it's great. So all I can say is if you join the mastermind, it's going to be a elite group of people. And there are some big SEOs in there. I get surprised. I'm like, what? I had no idea who this guy was. One guy I talked to for four years. I had no idea who it was. Turned out to be one of the biggest SEOs. Runs his own mastermind. Makes a freaking ton of money a year. I'm like, what? You know, so it blows me away who's in there, who these people are, and just sharing knowledge, sharing knowledge every week. It's great. So, yeah, there, there's my kick for the mastermind. It's great. It's an exclusive group of people, uh, both men and women. Like I said, Valerie, she rolls in there. She's a super SEO uh, queen. She does nursing, home health care nursing. And uh, it's great. She has like a sign behind her, right behind her on the wall. It said boss, you know, so we always mm -hmm. uh, we always love it when Valerie comes in and uh, Alex doesn't come in too often. Uh, she lives in Scotland. And it's just it's just awesome. It's just really awesome. So we have a really great e e eclectic group. You know, Julianne lives down in Florida. Excellent SEO. She's very, very good at SEO. So. Like I said, eclectic people. We love it when they come in, and uh, you never know who's going to be on, who's going to share. So, yeah, there we go. Any other questions? They're being quiet now. <laughs> That's because I went on a, on a rant there. Don't get me talking. I'll talk for the it, rest. It's okay. It's okay. It was the perfect answer to, to that question. I'm looking at my screen right now, this one screen over here, and uh, every tab is from the last mastermind. And I've got about 25 tabs just on that one screen. Yeah, that's true, Pat Forbes. What group is Tim Parker not in? <laughs> He's awesome. Tim is really awesome, so, especially on the chat GPT. So if you're ever wanting to pick Tim's brain on chat GPT, and uh, Zim writer, especially Zim writer, he goes crazy on those two topics. Get Chat GPT, Zim writer, and Tim Parker in the same room, and it will go on for an hour and twenty minutes, and you'll hear every every secret. Tim's like, I can't share much, and before you know, you found out everything in his sock drawer. He's gone through all of his prompts, all of his SEO prompts. So. It's uh, it's really great. <laughs> so, how many people are intending to run over to that site and, and either buy the the Kraken or the Combo tonight? Let you me get a me, one. Let me get a one checked. from you. I mean, check here. Oh, they are roll. Good gosh, they are rolling in here. Yeah, I see the masterminds getting lots of people. That's the button. <laughs> I like that, Pat. <laughs> Smash that button. Yeah, I'm seeing lots of people rolling in here. Well, good. Yeah. Yeah, the mastermind's great. And like I said, mastermind gets first access to Megalodon, which is yeah. going to be awesome. And guys, remember to get with Rod 
on the on those TRS coins. So that first month is the kick to tires month. You can't get any smoother than that. Mega tooth. You know, every time I think of Megalodon, I always think of the movie Mega Mind. <laughs> that big giant blue head, you know? Yeah. Go to Scotch, Michael, not vodka. No, nope, no, nope. you know what? You don't want to see me drink, all right? No drinking for me. I'm on blood thinner, so one beer is like three beers. One beer, and I'm conking out. I'll pass out on my you, chair. You know, you know what they call that, Michael? What's that? That's the original three beer, man. You drink one, you spill one, and you give one away, and you're plastered. That's about it for me, Gary. Yeah, yeah it doesn't take much to get me completely plastered. End up being a cheap date. <laughs> 